One thing about assignments is that students just love to procrastinate. This is Yogi, a third year economic student of IIUM, 22 years old and is single. But one thing about Yogi is that he just always procrastinates. So two weeks beforehand, he was given an assignment by his lecturer. And this was what happened in room D-1. Yogi wanted to wake up at 7.30am on a Sunday morning, which was so impossible for Yogi to do. After like around 20 snoozes, Yogi decided to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. So he then woke up at 12pm instead. And he then realized that it was already half of the day gone. Six, seven, eight. Yogi wanted to start his assignment, but he got hungry. So he went into the kitchen and looked for something to eat and looked into the fridge and found nothing. So then, of course, Yogi couldn't cook, so he decided to go and have his lunch outside instead. Coming back from lunch around 2 pm, he entered his house and finally discovered that his house was such a mess. So, giving that an excuse, Yogi would rather clean up his house rather than to start with his assignment. After a while, obviously his house was much cleaner and tidier than before. Yogi finally started to do his assignment. <laughs> Just kidding. He got a message from his friend. So um, that actually made him forget about his assignment. After 30 minutes of chatting, now he is really doing his assignment. But he couldn't even start his assignment. He got stuck. Aww. So he texted Ilham, the bright student in his class, to help him. Of course, being the bright student, Ilham said yes and decided to meet Yogi at 10 pm tonight. Since Yogi didn't know what to do, he called Ahmed, the bigger procrastinator in his university. And Ahmed was so happy to get Yogi's call and agreed to meet Yogi at the cafe far, far away from Yogi's house. So Ahmed met Yogi at the cafe, had a laugh and did what boys are supposed to do. <laughs> so at around 9 p.m., Yogi came back and he didn't even start his assignment yet because he was waiting and hoping that Ilham could help him with his assignment. So while waiting for Ilham, he texted again, just sitting down and daydreaming and had his own talent show. Oh yeah, he even played his favorite video game, Pro Evolution Soccer. Sadly, Ilham couldn't make it on time because unlike Yogi, Ilham is a very busy student. At around 11.30, the long-awaited person has arrived and Ilham told Yogi off for not doing his assignment. Yogi then had a clearer picture of what to do with his assignment. But of course, there was a disturbance there. Because it was getting late, Ilham had to leave. 
So Yogi was left all alone with his assignment. Yogi was trying really hard and it was a torture for him and that's the consequences of procrastinating. Letting time pass me by Counting stars in the sky And don't let the bed In the end, he managed to finish his assignment. Three day. So after printing out his assignment, he was so unsatisfied with it. But what else can he do? Sounds familiar? Hmm. So how can you deal with your procrastination habit? Number one, get organized. Start by simple things like make your own to-do lists or post-its. That will help you a lot. Number two, break large tasks into smaller ones. Break the project into a set of smaller, more manageable tasks. Start with some quick, small tasks if you can. In the end, you feel like you're achieving something. Number three, make your own reward. Reward yourself for doing the task. For example, work for 30 minutes and have a 5 minute break. And then, what you have to do is to start the working clock again. Number four, remove all distractions while doing the work. Turn off your phone, the internet, remove your favorite video games that can make you really focused on what you're doing. And finally, start now. What else are you waiting for? You may delay, but time will not.